Hello Pisces, Rambler Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today, my friends. Thank you for tuning in one more time, I appreciate you. Appreciate you reaching out and touching that like button right there. Definitely appreciate you touch that subscribe button. Also, uh, I wanna thank all my Pisces friends that have reached out and blessed me with donations. Thank you so very much for all of that. And of course, all my Pisces that have reached out for private readings with me. Thank you so very much for that. You guys have always been a blessing to me, Pisces. All right, here we go. Let's play some cards. These readings will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2019, mid-month. As we go into April, these readings will be for love and relationships, relationships of all kinds, homework, family. I myself going to be focusing on love. That's because I love to read for love. Now, we all know there's no way this is going to be for every Pisces on the planet. Hmm? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, all that fun stuff. So, hey, if these resonate with you, run with it and have fun with it. And if they don't, have fun throwing it out. Absolutely, my friends. On my cross watchers, you know you're welcome here. Thank you for tuning in. I do want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Pisces a lot, these can very well play out from your perspective. As well as my Pisces friends, these can play out vice versa. Let's fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, all that fun stuff. As we play with this fun, esoterical world of tarot today. All right. Been chopping your cards for a minute here, Pisces. Let's go with this right here. Woo, man, these cards just want to talk. I'm going to tune in here. Hey, Terry, love team. Pisces is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. All my guides that love me, you're absolutely welcome here. All Pisces guides that love them, you're absolutely welcome here. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces' highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Pisces, cutting the deck. Pisces, first card out is King of Wands. King of Wands. This is uh, the King of Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. You know, he's a real get up and goer, entrepreneur energy to say the least. Uh, definitely has his hand on his chin right there with the Tarot Illuminati. That is the deck I'm playing with today, the Tarot Illuminati deck. That's uh, the king of passion. This is somebody who gets up and makes things happen. No doubt about that. Wonder who that is. If there's that, I mean, is there a fire sign? Pisces. I've uh, been playing with this fire sign for a while now. Uh, and uh, the princess of swords on top of that. This is my little spy card, you know. Pisces, this looks to me like somebody cannot get you out of their... Uh, thought process right here or possibly vice versa. Maybe you can't get your thoughts, but it is the king of fire right here So it's fire energy and then the princess of swords Message card. She's also my little spy uh, You know, like I say, you can see that king right there with his hand on his chin Thinking huh and watching watching my Pisces maybe from a distance uh, you know, I don't feel any malice in this. I just want to know what you're up to, Pisces. No doubt about that, huh? Uh, and this is, you know, it's a card about communication. This is somebody that wants to communicate um, and have a conversation with my Pisces right here. Yeah, because there's been five of cups, the river of tears in the distant past, huh? Lots of spilled cups. It's gone on here. This can also, you know, uh, be an age difference between these two right here. Uh, this can be somebody younger, and this can be somebody older. Of course, this is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. And uh, this is a fire, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising. I feel there's an age difference right here. There may have been some kind of split up in the past, a break up in the past. And everybody's been focusing on the spilled cups right here. Uh, this is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Many of my Pisces may have been 
looking at the situation and the spilled cups that happened between these two. I feel that these, these are two people right here, no doubt about it. Are they watching each other and they're thinking about each other? They're mirroring each other here. And uh, there was definitely some kind of breakup in the past. Maybe somebody else got involved uh, between these two right here. Because, you know, I'm not supposed to be focusing on the spilled cups right there, but the two cups are behind this character in the uh, tarot. He's supposed to turn around and pick up the two cups. The two cups always talk about the true love. And go over this bridge over troubled water back up to that castle of high vibration. So I see a separation between these two for a season here, with that being at the base of the spread. <clears throat> There's that fire energy again. Uh, it's a night, it's a night of wands, the great adventurer. It could, you know, with the spilled cups here, Pisces, um, it could be because somebody was just noncommittal. Hmm? I, I don't mind this character myself. They come in, they're fun, they're exciting. They come in, they play around, they get what they want, and they skedaddle again, huh? And that energy could be on both sides of this situation right here from really what I'm seeing. I just don't feel that either one of them have been too committed to the other one in the past. Um, but let's see if this is going to change here coming up. Definitely talking about a couple right here that have been in separation for a while. Maybe, I mean, this is the um, great adventure. It can talk about relocation of residency, uh, relocate or, or new career opportunities. Uh, I'm not really talking about career though, but... Maybe somebody moved, and, and like I said, maybe somebody's at a little bit of a distance right here, and they're definitely watching each other because somebody moved right here. Somebody tried to get something going with somebody else with Five of Cups right here. Seven of Wands on the top of the spread. Well, we got a lot of fire energy here, that's for sure. Seven of Wands is my hero's card. This is somebody that's uh, chosen to do what's best for them. Choosing the path that they're going to go down. Uh, they don't really care who likes it or who don't like it. Uh, one thing's for sure. They're going to set up boundaries. I see uh, boundaries being set up between these two people right here. Definitely just a little bit of a challenging energy between these two. Whoever I'm talking to right here. They'll play your energy, and, but both of you cannot get each other out of your minds. Both of you are watching each other. Both of you are feeling the sadness of the Five of Cups situation. And possibly both of you, Seven of Wands, being a little defensive about the other one. But look, boom, here we go, here we go. Here comes a cycle change coming in for these couples right here. I know I'm not talking to everybody, but I'm definitely talking to a couple. You know, this is fire and this is air. And, um... I mean, this can be in your chart, fire and air. But these fire and air get along good, I mean, period. I see them standing. Uh, they, <laughs> somebody moved, and everybody's defensive about the situation. There's been heartache and heartbreak in the whole situation. But we got a cycle change, the world card showing up in the near future uh, with this couple here. You know, it talks about completion of old cycles. Well, what would that old cycle be? The river of tears. That old cycle would be that old player energy, whoever it is. You know, maybe both of them right here. And uh, and that being defensive and setting up, you know, keeping keeping separation between the two. That would be the cycle that I would be seeing ending with, represented by this card right here, the world card. And once again, they may live at a little bit of a distance from each other. Like I said, somebody may have moved a little bit of a distance to go be with somebody else, but that didn't work out. And now they're watching each other and thinking about each other. Yeah, it's a beautiful story right here. This talks about, it's the world card. It talks about old cycles ending and new cycles beginning with these two right here. These two right here. Um, and once again, has all four fixed zodiacs on here. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo may mean something to you, may not. A lot of life lessons have learned here. That's what the uh, world card is about. Learning, <laughs> learning these life lessons and taking all that and moving forward. Whoo, man, Pisces right here. Uh-huh. Everybody's thinking differently anymore. 
They don't want to be in separation from each other anymore. Four of Wands coming up here. This is my 1111 card. And a lot of these divine unions are beginning to come together. I ca I'm telling you, I called it. And uh, as we go into spring right here, April and, you know, summertime, all of that, we're going to see lots and lots of unions happening between uh, special uh, couples that have been on the planet for a while. Very challenging stuff. We all know that. Four of Wands has showed up right here. My 1111 cards, how Pisces seen the situation. Pisces is definitely uh, realizing that this is a two of cups relationship right here. Both of, both, of the, both of them are. That's the cycle change, you know. That's the awakening that's happened here. You know, it definitely talks about the spies, not the day of small beginnings because the Taj Mahal is behind these people and the sun shining on them as well. This is a card of engagement, marriage, at a bare minimum. This is a card of an upgrade in a relationship. You know. Uh, Six of Wands coming in on top of these two right here. My king and my princess. These two want to communicate. There will be some communication, absolutely, with Six of Wands coming in on top of this. This is the triumph and return of the Sun King. It's fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, I see it right here. You know, it's victory after the battle. There's definitely been a battle here with Five of Cups and Seven of Wands, everybody being defensive. I, it's all shifting. It's beautiful, you know. Maybe somebody moved because somebody was just being a player. All that. Uh, Six of Wands on top of that talks about victory after the battle. It has my uh, young prince up on top of his white horse right there. Coming into town after the battle with that uh, his wand of passion with that laurel of victory on it. Everybody's shouting, you know, Pisces, you did it, you did it, you did it. But this is uh, these two also uh, well, realizing the fact that they enjoy the attention from each other, you know. The acclimates, uh, they make each other feel good. They, they make each other feel very special. Four of Wands and Six of Wands. Six is a, is a harmony number, you know. Five always talks about change, change because of the contrast, and six is harmony. It's beautiful. It's definitely uh, a beautiful spread here. Look at this. A matching pair has showed up here. You know. The king and the queen of wands are on this spread. I only have eight cards out, and we definitely have a matching pair here. These are definitely soulmates, the king and the queen of wands. Here they are right here. These unions are coming together, my peeps. It's beautiful stuff. You see it, you know it, you want it, be it. My queen of wands is, uh, you know, she's the queen of passion. She's absolutely good looking. And she makes things happen. She gets up and goes forward. Both of these people I see, you know, that's the cycle change. Both of them uh, make things happen. I really don't see these two staying apart for too much longer. Queen of Pentacles on top of the spread right here. Ain't that interesting. She is absolutely the catch. Uh, I'm going to throw some cards on that. We've got three of swords at the base of the spread. Definitely been some heartache and some heartbreak here. You ready? We're going to shake this out right here. Out, out, out. Get out of Pisces' heart. This is nice, Pisces. And here we go. A slow-moving opera with the Knight of Pentacles. I don't mind slow myself. I've found that the divine has two speeds, huh? Slow and slower. Mm -hmm. I'm happy when they're moving at slow. I don't think they have microwaves up there, huh? I don't... <laughs> Hey, honey, I've been home 45 seconds. Where's my baked potato? They don't got no microwaves up there. They're slow and slower. I'm happy when they go slow. This, this is going to begin to move forward. Cycle change world right here. And nine of cups. Uh, wish fulfillment is an outcome here in the future. In the future. I want to see what this Queen of Pentacles is about, please. What the Queen of Pentacles talks with me about, you know, that's wifey. That's the catch. That's the one that you want. 
Um, that's the one that they want. You know, she's established and stable. Uh, somebody that eats right, takes care of their body. They have uh, the golden pair of spirituality in their hand. The Midas touch, all of that. I mean, it's the catch. It's absolutely the catch. It shows me wifey and all that. That just showed me eight of pentacles right there. Eight of wands. These are all about new beginnings coming in here for you. I'm not afraid of that, queen. I feel that it's an energy about Pisces that, you know, Pisces is the catch, be you male or female. And it's uh, these two lovers right here on this, uh, all this wands energy. Uh-huh. Definitely been through some shit, no doubt about it. Five right there, and I just looked at a five of swords, but eight of wands on top of that. Queen of Pentacles talks about communication. A full steam ahead coming in here for these peeps. One more, please. Yeah, and uh, the Princess of Cups showing up. That's Pisces right there. I'm telling you, this is this Queen of Pentacles is representing Pisces. I'm uh, going full steam ahead with a new situation with love right here. This king and this queen of wands, four, four of wands, victory, cycle change. It's absolutely beautiful, Pisces. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Look at all this love. I mean, here's the lover on the bottom of the deck as well. All this love energy. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Get ready. There's been a lot of pain and all that kind of stuff. I see it with the three of swords and five of cups. A lot of defensiveness. Everybody's had their guards up. Everybody's been watching each other for a season, but that is about to change. And these two are going to come into union right here. Pisces, you want it with four of wands. And you see it. You know who this person is right here. You've absolutely bettered yourself and, and made yourself this queen of pentacles right here. You know, and both the king and the queen of wands go and get what they want. And what do they want? Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. And let's take this one step at a time, because this is the only knight that ever does cross the finish line. That's why he has gold all over his horse, because this guy does cross the line right here of victory. Beautiful spread, Pisces, I'm telling you. All right, all right, let's throw out some love cards on top of this for Pisces, please. Thank you very much. Forgiving and learning, of course, forgiving and learning with all the five of cups, seven of wands, player energy, let it go, you know, three of swords, definitely don't want to dig into the past, you know, all we have is the now, we reach back in the past and grab that low vibrational energy and bring it into the now, we're gonna fuck it up, mm -hmm. beautiful, forgiving and learning, of course that's what this spread, more please for Pisces, religious factors, I'm telling you right here for many of you, this isn't for everybody, but religious factors definitely can talk about major age differences between the two. It can talk about religious differences, cultural differences, racial differences, all those kind of differences um, that uh, many of these divine unions are here to tear down all that crap. We're not taking that into our new world. All those social taboos on love. You know, you can't love them. They're the wrong age. They're the wrong color. Bullshit. Whatever. Don't mind me. I'm having fun. It's an exciting read right here. Religious factors. Forgiving and learning is on the board for my Pisces right here. I see a divine union manifesting here. True love. Look at that as I said that right there, Pisces. True love showed up on the spread. It's absolutely gorgeous. Shows them retreat on the bottom of the deck. Once again, this always shows me a, a, some kind of an age difference with these two. They're just out taking a walk in the woods. There's no pressure on the situation. They're going having a cup of coffee. They're talking and reconnecting again. Seeing the cycle change between them one step at a time. And they do have a wedding garb on, huh? He has a tux and she has a wedding dress on. Beautiful, beautiful story. And of course, beneath that, we have engagement, an upgrade in a relationship, to say the very least. It's absolutely about to begin if it has not begun, you know. Like I'm telling you, man, get ready. These unions are going to begin to manifest if they have not already. All right, somebody's going to reach out. It's all beautiful, one step at a time. There's no rush. True love on the board. Forgiving and learning, religious factors, engagement, and retreat. What a beautiful spread, man. I'm super excited. 
Uh, we got the moon card. So, you know, I think that full moon coming up, I believe it's a Libra full moon. I believe that that's on the 20th. These, uh, the moon card always talks to me about the cycles of the moon and all of that wonderful stuff. You keep your eyes open, you know, one step at a time. I don't see any red flags here. I see them leaving the red flags. Could be, uh, uh, you know, just a, a time stamp that uh, things could really begin to go forward after the 20th, after the full moon, or during this season of the full moon here. Um, from the 20th of this month until the well, the 20th of April. Should should see something opening up uh, with this relationship. Uh, and the Hierophant wanted to come out here as well. Of course, he's about, uh, you know, unions, uh, committed relationships, all of that stuff. This is the source card to me. Um, talks about being streetwise and spiritual at the same time, being the student and the teacher at the same time. I mean, these kind of relationships right here, they'll teach you, they'll teach you life lessons, won't they? No doubt about it, huh? And the Hierophant is all about that. You know, he's all about seeking out uh, spiritual guidance and wisdom in this situation and all that fun stuff. He's about committed relationships. Uh, many times the ones that we signed up for in the 5D before we come here and play in the 3D. Got the moon card, got the hair font, and then we do have the sun card coming out right here. Uh, this is Leo, Taurus, Pisces, moon showing up right here. Um, and you can see uh, with this David Bowie deck right here, uh, the, the, the twins, hmm? they reflect in each other. I saw it through this whole spread right here. It's a beautiful uh, uh, spread of divine union coming together. Pisces, I hope you got something out of this. I know I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now, Pisces.